All right, so these are the toss-ups over the artists and works that number from 76 to 90 in the study guide. Good luck. There are 24 of them. Toss-up number one. A half-male, half-female crucified figure looks down at a Nazi officer in this artist's apocalypse in lilac capriccio. And a massive chandelier is located at the center of this artist's colorful paintings on the ceiling of the Paris Opera House. The Lithuanian flag flaps while a synagogue burns in one of his paintings, while the Eiffel Tower can be seen through the window of another of his works. In addition to white crucifixion and self-portrait with seven fingers, this man is famous for painting in which a woman stands upside down playing violin violin while a green man is face to face with a goat. For 10 points, I identify this Russian born artist of eye in the village. And that is Mark Chagall. Toss up number two. The central figures of this painting were replaced with Humphrey Bogart, James Dean and Marilyn Monroe in Gottfried Helnwein's parody, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. The setting of this painting is usually thought to be the empty Mulry Square. The central building in this painting has a yellow door with no handle and no obvious exit. This painting may have been based on a Greenwich Village restaurant. A woman in a red dress next to two men and a waiter appear in this painting, which also shows a sign for five-cent Philly cigars. For ten points, name this painting of a lonely diner by Edward Hopper. That is Nighthawks. Toss-up three. This painting, whose style was reused in its artist's later painting, the Charnel House, was exhibited alongside a fountain that pumps mercury. A tapestry copy of this painting was covered by a curtain during a Colin Powell press conference at the United Nations. The creation of this painting was documented in a series of photographs by its artist's longtime partner, Dora Marr. This painting was vandalized with the words, Kill Lies All, written in red spray paint in a response to the melee or My Lai Massacre. This painting uses only black, white, and gray to portray a flower growing from the hand of a dead soldier and a horse screaming in pain. For 10 points, name this massive painting inspired by the 1937 bombing of a Basque city, a work by Pablo Picasso. And that is Guernica. Toss up four. This artist included a work where a black figure is characterized only by a red dot uh, for a heart, Icarus, in his collection, Jazz. His cutouts include a series of inspired by African sculpture, which shows a silhouetted woman performing various actions, blue nudes. A painting by this artist depicts a woman arranging fruit at a clothed table with floral patterns, his harmony in red. The title feature of this artist's painting of his wife divides her face into light and shadow. He depicted five nude women interlocking hands in a circle against a blue background in another painting. For ten points, name this artist of the green stripe and the dance, the founder of Fauvism. And that is Henri Matisse. Matisse. Toss up the next, number five. According to a biography by Sue Prido, this the artist of this painting commented, I gave up hope of ever being able to love again. This painting is the best known example of the artist's soul painting, and a 2004 theft snatched both this painting and the artist's other work, Madonna. The eruption at Krakatoa has been theorized as the cause of the blood red sky that inspired the artist of this painting while work, walking in Oslo. Two figures stroll along a bridge in this painting as the primary figure clutches their face. For 10 points, name this painting in the Freeze of Life series by Edvard Munch, showing an ambiguous figure making the title cry of anguish. And that is the screen. Toss up six. During World War II, this artist, like Joan Miro, created a series of carved wood sculptures called Constellations. One of this man's works simultaneously stands on the floor and hangs from the ceiling and is titled Mountains and Clouds. One sculpture by this artist is displayed behind glass, memorializes Franco's siege of Amal Almaden, and was designed for the 1937 World Exhibition. That sculpture is Mercury Fountain. This man used found objects like cloth, string, and cork to create a namesake circus. A sculpture by this man in the lobby of the Willis Tower is called Universe. Another sculpture by this man used a namesake red paint and can be found in Chicago's Federal Plaza. That work is titled Flamingo. This artist invented a type of sculpture exemplified by Lobster Trap and Fishtail. For 10 points, name this American artist famous for his mobiles. Uh, mobiles, and that would be Alexander Calder. Toss up seven. A fleet of Viking ships can be seen drifting down a river in this artist's Volga song. A crowd of people gather around a merchant ship in his arrival of the merchants, and many of his paintings depicted his mistress, Gabrielle Munter. He described his concept of inner necessity in his essay on the spiritual in art, and taught at the Bauhaus school until 1922. His works were often named compositions, and his most famous work features a figure riding a horse in an open field. For 10 points, name this Russian painter of On White 2, who co-founded the Blue Rider movement. 
and that is Kandinsky. Toss-up eight. Physician Elena Boder is the dedicatee of one of this artist's many late periods still lifes with flags. Branches extend from the subject to leaves on a barren earth in this artist's painting roots. This artist of coconut tears was commissioned by Claire Booth Luce to paint a memorial painting that depicts a woman falling off Hampshire House. Nails perforate this artist's skin in a self-portrait whose title, Broken Column, alludes to the pain of being hit by a trolley car. In a self-portrait by this artist of the suicide of Dorothy Hale, two versions of this artist are linked by arteries extending from their hearts. Her self-portrait with thorn necklace and hummingbird draws on native traditions. For ten points, name this Mexican artist the wife of Diego Rivera. And that is Frida Kahlo. Toss-up number nine. A companion piece to this painting depicts olive trees in a mountainous landscape. A painting with the same name depicts a view of the artist's hometown over the Rhone. A view outside the artist's sanitarium room window in St. Remy uh, inspired this painting, whose right side shows a church steeple rising in the middle of a small town. The left side of this painting is dominated by a dark flame-like cypress tree, while blue rolling hills appear in the background. For ten points, I identify this painting, which depicts a swirling evening evening sky dotted with the title objects created by Vincent van Gogh. And that is, of course, Starry Night. Toss-up 10. One member of this school formed a group known as The Left Column after leaving it and is best remembered for his work on the headquarters of the German Trade Union School. That member, Hans Meyer, succeeded this school's founder as its leader in 1928 and was himself succeeded by a man who followed the dictum that less is more. Ludwig Mies van der Rohe. For 10 points, name this school of architecture founded by Walter Gropius, whose name means house of building, and that is Bauhaus. Toss-up number 11. This movement's sculptures uh, can include a boy riding piggyback in Mother and Child by Jacques Lipschitz. A forearm in one painting of this style has X-shaped cuts on it and holds a broken sword, violin and candlestick, and houses at La Tasque, or Lestaque are by one of its developers, Georges Brock. Its prototype paintings included the African mask-like faces on five nude women in La Demoiselle d'Avignon. A mural in this style shows a screaming horse in black and white during the bombing of a Basque town. For ten points, name this movement exemplified by Guernica and other late Picasso paintings, which showed many sides of 3D objects in abstracted flat forms. And that is Cubism. Toss-up 12. This artist's last work, found in Philadelphia Museum, in the Philadelphia Museum, is divided into t the numbered parts T, or the waterfall, and the illuminating gas, and consists of a battered wooden door with two peepholes through which you can see a landscape with a spread-eagle nude woman. One work by this artist was gifted to Walter Ahrensberg, and contrary to its title, was thought to contain 125 cubic centimeters of gas. Another work by this artist was designed to look like a container of sugar cubes, but was actually a birdcage filled with mercury thermometer and cubes of marble. Another, other than 50 cc of Paris Air and Why Not Sneeze, Rosé Salavi, this artist created a work called L H O O Q, which consists of the postcard of the Mona Lisa with a drawn-on mustache and beard. For ten points, named this creator of ready-made sculptures such as the sideways porcelain urinal he named Fountain, and that is Marcel Duchamp. Number 13. Early sketches of this painting featured a male medical student with a book entering from a left. He was removed to heighten the viewer's sense of voyeurism with respect to the central figures. In this painting, the outermost figures of the central group blend into red curtains on the left and blue curtains on the right, while a watermelon slice and grapes sit on a corner of a protruding table below. The three women on the left of this painting are influenced by Iberian sculptures, while the two on the right have faces reminiscent of African masks. For 10 points, named this proto-cubist work that depicts five naked prostitutes in a brothel, a work by Pablo Picasso, and that is uh, Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. La Demoiselle d'Avignon. Toss of 14. This artist depicted himself as a child standing in front of his future wife, who gasped in a yin-yang sign on her left hand, a work that features various historical figures from his native country and a smiling skeleton with a floral hat. This artist portrayed a creation goddess as a stamping press in a 27-part work, and an X-wing shape emanates from a man operating machinery in one of his paintings. This artist showed laborers at the River Rouge plant in his Detroit industry murals, and his depiction of Vladimir Lenin led to Man at the Crossroads being removed from the Rockefeller Center. For 10 points, name this Mexican artist and muralist the husband of Frida Kahlo. 
and that is Diego Rivera. Toss up fifteen. At the top of this work, of the top of this painting, a man's face is shown under a red roof of a yellow church. A figure in this work, uh, a, a figure on the right of this work, wears a red cap embroidered with triangles and a necklace with a cross. That figure holds a flowering branch in its left hand, which wears a red ring. In front of the colorful buildings depicted in this background, an inverted woman plays the violin next to a man holding a scythe. A woman milks a white cow in the cheek of one of the central figures of this painting. A faint line connects pupils of its two central figures, a goat and a green-faced man. Thought to portray the artist's hometown for ten points, name this painting by Mark Chagall. And that is I in the village. Toss up 16. A woman sits in front of a flowered wall and holds a cradle rocking rope in this artist's Le Bursus. He dedicated to his uncle in law, Anton Mauve, one of his orchard works, the Pink Peach Tree. The Museum of Orsay holds 24 of his works, including the portrait of Dr. Gachet, Bedroom in Arl, and a Starry Night over the Rhone. For 10 points, name this Dutch post impressionist who painted a self portrait after he had a fight with Paul Gauguin and severed part of his ear. And that is Vincent van Gogh. Toss up 17. While in London, this architect worked with Maxwell Fry, and his first major work was a building with metal spandrels called the Fagus Factory. Another, uh, his works, together with the architect's collaborative, include the U.S. Embassy in Athens and part of the University of Baghdad. His work in Dessau was showcased as examples of the international style, and in 1918, he became director of the Weimar School of Art, but reorganized it with a different name. Also known for creating flat-roofed canopies for the Harvard graduates center for 10 points identify this architect who founded the Bauhaus and that is Walter Gropius toss up 18 this artist painted many scenes from his stay in St. Cloud and also painted an evening in a spring day on Carl Johann Street many self-portraits of this painter include one of him holding a burning cigarette the common name for a painting he exhibited as love and pain came from a reviewer who read it as a broken man with a vampire biting its neck a man leans against the back of a green wall praying and a painting by this artist about a family mourning his sister called death in the sick room that painting along with one depicting a a couple dancing appear in this artist Freeze of Life series. Another painting by this author depicts a man standing on a bridge holding his face against a swirling red and yellow sky. For 10 points, name this painter of The Scream. And that is Edvard Munch. Toss up 19. A naked woman holds a cigarette in this artist's Woman in the Sun, while a blonde woman in blue stands off to the side in his New York movie. This artist drew attention to a woman's legs in a painting at which she sits alone at a table enjoying a beverage with one glove on, while two women with, in similar hats look at each other across a table in another painting. A man sitting at a desk looks at out the large window of a white featureless building in this artist's office in a small city. This artist of Automat and Chop Suey is most famous for a painting in which an advertisement for Philly cigars is visible above a corner diner in which three people eat. For 10 points, name this American painter of Nighthawks. And that, of course, is Edward Hopper. Toss up 20. A picture frame depicting two people, one in red and another in blue, hangs in the top left of this painting next to a clock, which reads 7 o'clock. Spoons hang in the top right of this painting, and a tea kettle sits in this painting's bottom right corner. A hanging oil lamp provides the only source of light in this painting, in which a woman in white bonnet pours out four cups of tea. The two figures to the left use forks to eat the main dish. For 10 points, name this painting that depicts five peasants around a table having a meal, a work by Vincent. And Van Gogh, and that is the potato eaters. Toss up 21. In one parody of this artwork, the central scene is replaced with a cascade of commuters in the subway during rush hour. The magazine American Art News offered a $10 prize for any bun who could find the subject of this work, and this work was inspired by the work of Edward Mybridge on the stop-motion photography. The New York Times art critic Julian Street likened this painting to an explosion in a shingle factory. In this painting, an assortment of canonical and cylindrical shapes depicts the motion of a naked woman performing the title action. For 10 points, name this painting by French Dada artist Marcel Duchamp. And that is New Descending a Staircase, number two. Toss-up number 22. At the back of this painting is a green door behind a brown curtain. A clock on the, the orange back wall reads 12.15, and below the clock in this painting is a table with many bottles of wine on it, along with a large white vase with flowers. In this painting, a man in white suit stands next to a table with a wine bottle and a glass on it, and above him is a large yellow chandelier hanging from a green ceiling. Groups of people sit drinking at various tables in this work. There is a pool table in the center of, for 10 points, what painting depicting an eatery late in the day by Vincent Van Gogh, and that is the Night Cafe. 
Toss-up number 23. This artist painted a person and an animal completely in white with green outline on the right side of one of his 58 paintings that reinterpret Las Meninas. In addition to creating a portrait of Gertrude Stein, this artist painted an old bearded man facing downwards and curling around an instrument. A more controversial work from him shows five nude females, two of whom seem to be wearing African masks. This artist of the old guitarist depicted a broken sword, an agonized horse, and a light bulb in a representation of the bombing of a Basque village in another work. For 10 points, I identify the Spanish artist of La Demoiselle d'Avignon and Guernica. And that is, of course, Pablo Picasso. Toss up the last, number 24. One member of this movement painted men with a pipe and at the bar. Another artist in this style demonstrated it in the Electricity Fairy and Regatta at Cowles. Maurice Vlamnik, or Vlamink and Raoul Dufay were members of this movement, which were named by critic Louis Vossel, who dubbed the painters of this of school the Wild Beasts. The most prominent member of this style used it to show five nude women holding hands in a circle in the dance. For 10 points, I identify this painting style, which is characterized by assertive colors and practiced by Henri Matisse. And that, of course, is Fauvism. Hopefully you have enjoyed this and will keep learning and keep studying. Good luck.